What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my guide. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little, only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian? That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration, but I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything, anything at all... Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you, and the balance too. How did you become a Sentinel Minstrel? The Sentinel are not numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with the Vanguard, the Church of Voltec, keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. But the Sentinel are here, and when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's what happened to me. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenged conventional wisdoms, made me question the validity of my faith. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel, and I don't regret my decision. Have you ever been to Arcadia? No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance, and that in itself is a rare privilege for a stalker like me. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. How are things here? You mean in the cathedral? No, no, I mean here in Newport. How have things been going? Nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Have you been away? You could say that, yeah. It's just been hot and humid, and it's getting worse by the day. And apparently crime is on the rise. But what else is new? I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that... that I've been worried. really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why? What's the... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on! 
Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. I was hoping you would join our little party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. What do you... Uh, do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? He runs the Church of Voltec, also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first. But we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier. But then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. What do you want from me? We want you and what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and we respected that. Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water, and so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious girl such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I will go on a little trip. All right. Release my friends and you will get what I have. You are a very intelligent woman, Miss Ryan. Still, we need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. Emma! What the hell is going on? Get out of my way, Zack! Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? What game, Zack? They're trying to kill me. They just shot Emma! Who did? The agents, the Vanguard. But... but they said... they said they weren't really gonna hurt nobody. They were just gonna... They said? What do you mean? You spoke with them? No! I mean... they were just gonna arrest you and... You bastard! You sold me out? You killed Emma? Do you know that? You killed my best friend! I... I didn't... Ah! <laughs> Zack, are you... Shit! Open up! If you don't open, we'll break down the door. Let's do it. Take it down. 
Oh, God, this is not gonna be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April! Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, shit. Somebody's watching the entrance. There's no way I'm getting by without him seeing me. But there's no other way out of here, either. Who's there? I know somebody's there. I can hear you. Nah, probably just a sewer rat. Sewer rat? I got my body back. That was a close call, though. If I'd been caught, I don't want to think about what would have happened. door. It's open. I'm guessing... I'm pretty sure, actually. I'm not in Venice anymore. Now I know how Alice and Dorothy felt. Moby Dick, Oliver Twist, The World According to Garp, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, The Holy Bible. Warm and cozy. I don't know who she is, but she does look vaguely familiar. Welcome, April Ryan. I won't ask how you know my name, but who are you? The Lady Elvane is my name now. And where am I? What's this place? This is my home. The house of all worlds. This is Arcadia? It looked like I passed through a shift, but it didn't feel... It felt different. Not like shifting. It's similar to shifting, except that you did not pass through dreams, and you're not in Arcadia, nor in Stark. This place is between and everywhere. But don't worry. You are safe from your pursuers for the moment. Did you bring me here? You brought yourself here. But yes, I opened a doorway for you. Why? Because that's how the story goes, April. You escape. You outrun your pursuers and your journey continues. It's been written, and we cannot change that now. Lady Elvane, I appreciate your help, but I'm so tired of hearing about my destiny and about prophecies. I've lost a good friend today, and... She's not dead. What? What did you say? Emma's not dead. She was hurt, 
but not killed. Oh, thank God. Are you sure? I'm quite certain. She is on her way to the hospital as we speak. But the others, Charlie, Fiona, they're angry at you. They blame you for Emma's pain and for not letting them in on the truth. They should blame me. I brought it all to them. The violence, the chaos. I've hurt so many people since this all started. And yet, at the time, it all seemed justified. It was. The fate of the many depend on the sacrifice of the few. Your sacrifice most of all. You've made so many, and you'll have to make many more before this is all over. Will it ever be over? Eventually. The pain won't go away, though. You'll keep that with you forever. I don't know if I can go on. It's so hard. Listen to me, April. You must go on. You must be brave. They all depend on... on you. And you can do it. You can get through this. Just remember what's important and what's not. Remember who your friends are and trust them. Let them help you. I already did that, and look where it got them. So, somebody gets hurt. That doesn't mean you can give up. I want you to go to Mercuria, to see for yourself how those who are not willing to surrender are holding up. You can learn from their courage. I can't go there. I can't shift. People tell me I have this... this talent, but it's not true. If I can't use it, what good is it? But you have used it twice already. April, child, you must learn to believe in yourself and your abilities. Use what you know, what you do best, to focus your magic. What I do best? You mean painting? If that's what you do best, then yes. Use that as a focal point. After a while, you won't even need that. But it's a beginning. What about the other things I have to do? What about the Guardian? The Vanguard are holding Adrian, the Guardian, captive. But they still don't know where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is located. Shouldn't I free Adrian immediately? Go first to Mercuria. The doorway will bring you there. If you go straight back to Stark, the Vanguard will find you. Thanks, Lady Elvane. I'm not going to ask you how you know everything you just told me, because I'm not sure I want to know. Good luck on your journey ahead, April. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. Maybe I'll see you again. Oh... I'm quite certain of that. Quite, quite certain.